Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin joined again on the Corn School by uh, Ben Rosser, uh, Omafra's Corn Lead. How's it going, Ben? Doing well. How are you, Bernard? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I want to talk a little bit of strip till here. Uh, we're at the Alora Research Station, Farm Smart uh, 2019. You got some great strip till trials, especially when it comes to fall applied fertilizer in strip till compared to spring applied fertilizer. I guess the conventional wisdom is go fall. Why should we go fall? Yeah, so I think it depends a little bit on the scenario and the grower. Certainly if you're on a heavier soil type, you know, I think there's a lot of growers be worried about trying to strip till in the spring, just you know, bring up wet soil conditions, that sort of thing. So they're they're in a fall mindset anyways. Of course, the other benefit too, I think, is you know, you get comments from growers that fertility rates they can think they can get a lot get more down in the in the fall uh, without the safety concerns they would have putting the same amounts down in the spring too. So maybe a benefit from rates they're able to get away with uh, from a fertility perspective with fall strip till. Yeah. Now you've got a check strip here, uh, you've got fall applied, you've got spring applied. What, uh, what's the application rate? Yeah, so in this case here, we're trying to put down 60 pounds of P and 60 pounds of K. Maybe a little lighter than guys in practice, um, but we're not trying to over apply things to see what the responses are like when you're putting a moderate amount of fertilizer down. So, observations. Now it's uh, mid-July uh, in a tough spring. Um, what are you seeing in this plot? Yeah, so certainly walking around, I think the first plot that really catches your eye and right behind us here is the spring fertility plot does seem to, to jump out. So again, it's a visual thing right now. As you said, we're only in July. We'll have to see what things look like at the end of the year. But certainly uh, just visually looking across plots is one that certainly jumps out relative to the others, the spring fertility plot. So Ben, there's always been talk about, you know, whether, you know, strip till is more responsive from a fall perspective and a spring perspective. You know, you've got some real good looking spring corn here. Is that sort of uh, the story that I'm seeing emerge? Yeah, so that's what we're trying to answer, Bernard. I know when I started a couple years ago as corn specialist, I had, I was doing some presentations on strip till stuff I'd done with Greg Stewart previously. And uh, one of the big questions I kept getting from growers was, if I can strip in the fall or in the spring, I'm on a soil texture that allows me to do either fairly easily. Um, is there one of those that's better from a nutrient response perspective? So. The one big question I'm trying to answer is, you know, it does, how does fall fertility response compared to spring fertility response? Do you get more response out of one of those timings than the other? So Ben, I guess we can't really end this interview without talking about, I guess, the fall and the spring conditions. Planting was so difficult. You know, what do you learn, uh, you know, from a perspective of, of weather and environment in a trial like this based on what we saw this spring? Yeah, so obviously like you commented on, you know, we do have to put things in perspective. It was a challenging fall to get strips in. I think here we stripped, I think we were middle to end of October before we were finally able to get strips in here. And uh, again, even this spring, you know, there was no till ground. We had to wait for things to dry out to make our spring strips. Even then we were towards the last week of May before we were able to get in, strip and plant uh, the trial here. It's so great stuff, Ben. Uh, what we'll do is we'll check back with you in the fall. Hopefully you have some yield results and this, uh, this story might be a little clearer and you might have a little bit more to share. Absolutely, we'll have some data by then. Awesome, thank you very much. Thanks, Bernard.